Hello everybody, we're going to talk about the causes of pollution. The aim of this lesson is to be able to identify some sources of air, land and water pollution. So, let's start. What's happening in all these photos? What's going on? Exactly. This is pollution. Pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment. These harmful materials are called pollutants. Pollutants can be natural or they can be created by human activity. So pollution can be natural, like volcanic ash or sediment in rivers, or created by human activity, like plastic and chemicals. Pollution is a global problem, and although some urban areas are more polluted than the countryside, pollution can spread to places where humans don't even live or go to. There are three major types of pollution, air, water and land, and we're going to see some of the sources. Let's start with air. Sometimes air pollution is visible. One type of natural air pollution is volcanoes. When volcanoes erupt, they eject volcanic ash and gases into the atmosphere. The ash can change the color of the sky for months and make it darker. In the past, there have been some eruptions that have affected crops from all over the world. Some volcanic gases are even toxic to humans. Most air pollution, however, is not natural. It comes from burning fossil fuels, like coal, oil and natural gas. Air pollution can come from places like factories, power plants, and even transport like cars, aeroplanes, ships, and other chemicals. When petrol is burned to power cars and trucks, it produces a gas called carbon monoxide, which is a colorless, odorless gas. Apart from carbon monoxide, which is released into the air, cars also produce nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide, which are released into the atmosphere. In some places, it produces thick fog or haze, which is called smog. In this place in China, smog is so thick they hardly ever see the sun. Another source of air pollution is methane gas from landfills. Landfills, areas where people dump their waste, release a lot of carbon dioxide and a lot of methane. Methane comes from microbes that are breaking down all this organic material. Both the carbon dioxide and the methane are released into the atmosphere. Let's look at water pollution now. Sometimes mud flows in rivers. An example is the Yellow River. You can see that the river water is not clear. This is natural mud that has been carried down from the surrounding areas. The mud in this river makes the soil fertile and encourages people to farm. But human activity also contributes to water pollution. Sometimes polluted water looks muddy, it smells bad and has garbage floating in it. Sometimes polluted water looks clean, but it is filled with harmful chemicals that you can't see or smell. Sometimes when there are construction sites close to the sea, the dust from the building end up in the sea, like in the photo. The dust in the sea can damage habitats and even poison or kill marine plants and animals. Sometimes chemicals from pesticides used in farming also harm the environment. Another major source of water pollution is fertilizer used in agriculture. Many times fertilizer has elements of nitrogen and phosphorus. These all help the plant grow larger and faster. However, when it rains, these chemicals are dissolved into the water. The rain washes chemicals like these of the plant into the soil and into streams and lakes. They can also go into the groundwater, which we might use to drink. Another source of water pollution are oil spills. This was the Deepwater Horizon rig in the Gulf of Mexico. In April 2010, this oil rig exploded 
causing oil to gush from the ocean floor and into the sea. The oil looked something like this. It covered a very large area of sea. Look at this photo showing the rig. You can see the oil rig at the base of the clouds. You can also see those small dots. Those dots are the very large ships that try to control the fire. Let's talk about land pollution now. Many of the same pollutants that harm the water also harm the land. An example is landfills. Garbage often contains dangerous pollutants such as oils, chemicals and ink. Many trains pollutants and leach into the soil. Water may carry the pollutants to the soil, into areas where there are plants and animals. The plants can take up the pollutants through the soil, and if the animal eats that plant, the animal also has the pollutant inside of it. The animal is then processed to make food for humans. Food might still contain pollutants. When someone eats it, the pollutants will end up in him. Turkey refuse dumped in the countryside has a similar effect. Appliances such as fridges and dishwashers, or mattresses and chemicals, cigarettes, and also pellets and remains from hunting have chemicals that leach into the soil and eventually might be passed on to plants animals and the food that we eat. Mining is another source of pollution. This is a mine in North America. You can see how it damages the land. This mine is a sulfur mine. And when the sulfur is extracted from the land, it sometimes leaves behind waste products. Also, the chemicals that are used to process the sulfur are sometimes dumped back on the land. Chemicals like sulfur and copper can be leached into the soil when it rains and end up in rivers, making it look like this. Sulfur can remain in the water and soil for thousands of years. Sometimes factories also use paints, chemicals and metals are dumped into the environment. You can see how the soil over here is contaminated. Final check. How can a factory like this cause air? land and water pollution. Pause the video and allow yourself two minutes to work them out. When you're done, press play and check your answers. Okay, so a factory can cause air pollution because it burns and releases pollutants into the air. A factory can cause land pollution by dumping chemical waste onto the land fields or soil. Eventually, this might end up in the water or in the plants and animals that we eat. Water pollution can be caused by releasing chemicals into rivers or the sea. Okay, remember, geography is everywhere.